of the $125,167 owed for these two years. Additionally, the borough has paid only a small portion of its MMO due on December 31, 2014, with $87,763 of the total $126,249 remaining unpaid. Currently, Cowan owes over $200,000 in past due pension payments to its pension fund. According to data from the Pennsylvania Public Employee Retirement Commission, PERC, Collins' pension system is among the worst funded in the Commonwealth, with a fund ratio of 47% as of its most recent actuarial valuation. The borough's failure to make the budgeted payment of its minimum municipal obligation for 2012, 2013, and 2014, as required, confirms that the borough meets Criterion 8. The fact that Criterion 8 was found to be present enabled the center to conduct a further evaluation and recommend whether the borough of Cowen should be designated as distressed under Act 47. It is Commonwealth policy, as stated in Act 47, to foster the fiscal integrity of municipalities so that they provide for the health, safety, and welfare of their citizens, pay principal interest on their debt obligations when due, meet the financial obligations to their employees, vendors, and suppliers, and provide for proper accounting procedures, budgeting, and taxing practices. It is the center's opinion that the borough of Conwin has exhibited conditions that make it difficult to fulfill its responsibilities as outlined. This conclusion is based on a continuing pattern of significant outstanding payables, failure to meet required obligations to its pension plans, and an apparent inability of the borough government to successfully manage its financial affairs and operations. In particular, the borough has been experiencing extreme governance dysfunction. For example, in two separate February 2015 meetings, the January 2015 bills were presented to Council for their approval. And even the simple task of approving bills devolved into a shouting match among Council and the citizenry eventually concluding with bill payments remaining unapproved. Additionally, evidence of mismanagement is extensive. Financial records from 2011 to 2014 are almost entirely non-existent, and no audits have been conducted for those years. Although the investigative team continues to try to access this, this data in an effort to piece together a more complete financial picture. Because of the borough's extraordinary dysfunction, it has been unable to meet its financial obligations or provide for proper accounting procedures, budgeting, and taxing practices. Accordingly, based on the Center's investigation, conducted in coordination with Stevenson Lee, the EIP consultant, it is the Center's recommendation that the borough of Cowan be determined to be a financially distressed municipality under Act 47. Clearly, the borough is and has been experiencing ongoing dysfunction over the past several years, which has led to significant financial challenges, including large unpaid liabilities, an underfunded pension system, the inability to pay bills when due, and severe financial management deficiencies. These conditions make it difficult for the borough to continue to fulfill its responsibilities to provide for the health, safety, and welfare of its citizens meet financial obligations to its employees, vendors, and suppliers, and provide for proper financial accounting procedures, budgeting, and taxing services. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Henderson. Before we go further, are there any other interested parties interested in providing testimony this evening? Can I, can I say one thing? No, your time is expired. After what he read? No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you for offering. Following this public hearing pursuant to Section 203F of this Act, I will provide the Secretary of DCD with a full report of the testimony presented this evening. The Secretary then has 30 days to issue an administrative determination as to whether the borough is financially distressed, and if so, the reasons therefore. If such determination is granted, the Department will terminate its Act 47 review. If he determines the borough is financially distressed, then within 30 days, he <coughs> will appoint a coordinator to prepare a, planning, a plan addressing the borough's problems and coordinating um, this plan within 90 days. This provides an approximately five-month time period 
for plan development, and thereafter there will be a plan implementation um, throughout the period of the, the plan. I would like to thank those in attendance at today's hearing, this evening's hearing, I should say. We appreciate the gravity of your financial situation and will work with the borough officials to resolve your financial problems and improve the borough's financial condition as best as possible. We will respond to the varying inquiries and we will proceed with processing this request for financial assistance accordingly. Thank you again, and now I will close this meeting, this hearing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.